Welcome to the Science Museum at Rawton for the first of this year's Scrap Heap Challenge Roadshows. Today, the museum is playing host to the Rawton Classic, a gathering of hundreds of top-class cars and bikes from around the UK. And it's here that we've gathered 16 teams of backyard bodgers to take part in a high-speed race where engines have been replaced by ingenuity. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Scrap Heap Challenge Juice-Free Drag Racing! Yeah! Five weeks ago, we invited teams from across the land to come up with designs for vehicles that could race down a drag strip at great speed without the use of an engine. We told them to plunder the skips and scrap heaps of the land for the parts to build all manner of green speedsters. These ingenious engineers have been burning the midnight oil, conjuring up a mind-boggling array of crazy contraptions. From petrol-free peddlers to recycled rubber band racers, no form of energy supply has been overlooked. <laughs> So it's no wonder they've built 16 of the craziest juice-free dragsters the world has ever seen. And now they're here. Morning, chaps. Hi, good morning. Which small child's bike did you nick that from? Yeah, we, we, <laughs> found, we found that, honest. Yeah. <laughs> There's some little girl, so I'm very upset. Yeah. You know. OK, we just need to attach it all together. Juice the Stragsters, what have you gone for? Correct. Pump power. Pump power? Yeah. Very appropriate for the fire engines? Yes. Well, Lisa, the Beach Bums couldn't make it, so we are the Beach Bums' wives and girlfriends. <laughs> I'm CJ, this is BJ, and this is No Way. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, how fast is this little baby going to go? About 100. We've had to limit it, because it, <laughs> yeah. uh, it was... <laughs> all all the rubber was coming off the tyres, to be honest, yeah. so we've had to limit it to yeah. 90. <laughs> Well, be it 90 or 9 miles an hour, all of our teams will be racing head-to-head -head on our drag strip in a series of knockout rounds until just one vehicle remains. The team that designed that dragster will then get the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get their hands on this priceless doorstop, the Juice-Free Dragster Trophy. But to achieve bodging immortality, they must take to the starting grid one last time to face the Scrap Heap All-Stars. Some say they are the creme de la creme of the scrap heap. Bodging titans who can build anything. In truth, uh, the All-Stars, in their various guises, have a rather an impressive record in previous road shows. Of played three... We've got a technical itch here. I don't know if that match's working. Uh, lost three. It's not looking good for the All-Stars. So who will be attempting to redeem the good name of the heap? Leading this illustrious lineup is the biggest, and let's be honest, the only superstar of the heap. Robocop! This madcap farmer and captain of the barley pickers has been ever present in the All Stars run of defeats. We be here! Surely it's only a coincidence. He's Andy Barnes. Team member two is big in name, big in stature, and big in ideas. Renowned for his hair brain designs whilst leading the cops and bodgers, you could always rely on him to come up with an eccentric solution to a challenge. He's Big Andy. And completing the dream team is a force of engineering nature. No task is too daunting, and when the going gets rough, he doesn't mince his words. Yeah, just calm well, down. the time. In fact, he's so tough, they named a wall after him. He's Hadrian Spooner. Yesterday, the latest all-star lineup were bundled into the back of a van and brought to the scrap heap to face one of their toughest tasks yet. That's it, proper job. Welcome, all-stars. You have been chosen as the epitome of engineering man. Tough, ingenious, and most important of all, free at the weekends. <laughs> but underneath those tough man exteriors, we know that you're eco-friendly softies. So it's time to kick off your size 16 carbon footprints and offset your passion for petrol with a little bit of pedal power. Oh yes, All-Stars. Teams from across the UK have been constructing juice-free 
dragsters. You have just 10 hours to make them green with envy. Go on the sound of the gong. Wait for it, teams. You know the drill. Yes, go! Oh. And we'll be catching up on the progress of the All-Stars build throughout the show. But now it's time to meet the man who'll be casting his expert eye over today's proceedings. Now, building and driving a juice-free dragster requires a heady mix of invention, stamina and bravery. Not only has today's judge represented Britain at swimming and worked as a stuntman, he's a madcap boffin from the old school with the ultimate alternative energy credentials. Welcome to the inventor of the Beijing Clockwork Radio, Trevor Bayliss. Well, Trevor, it's very kind of you to join us here today oh, on this slightly, so slightly windswept <laughs> runway. <laughs> It's so exciting when you see all the teams arriving with these machines. I can't help thinking before I see them that they'll just be like bits of old wire and old yes. bikes together. But I they're mean, it's amazing. It's extraordinary what effort and time and money I believe yeah. has gone into these things. Yeah. Huh? It's such a wide variety as well. It's such a, I mean, some of them I've still looked at and I honestly don't understand what they do or how they work. The most important thing, I believe, though, is the whole weight of the chunk has got to be accelerated and therefore you've got to be able to store that energy somehow, hopefully, beforehand. So you get a massive acceleration yeah. and some form of battery in the form of a flywheel, for yes. example, which maintains the energy as yeah. it were. Trevor knows his stuff. The key to success for our teams is to store and then release as much energy as possible. Fortunately, there are a plethora of options available to them. Twisted elastic, compacted springs, compressed gas, and flywheels. Of course, some teams may decide not to store any energy, preferring to rely on their trusty arms and legs. The great thing I love about the road shows, though, is there's, there's absolutely no way of predicting what's going to happen. The first two teams are ready to go, so yeah, we're, we're oh, ready for round this one. This is going to be fun. Two right, Trevor. The stands are full. Let's get on with it. OK, teams, get ready to go on the green light. It's sudden death in the eliminator round, which will cut our 16 teams down to eight quarter finalists. There's an amazing variety of vehicles taking part, from the sublime to the ridiculous. And unusually for Scrap Heap, there's not an engine in sight. Hey, I'll tell oh, you that what. Is clever. Instead, our teams have shown great ingenuity in their use of salvaged springs, binned bungee, and cast off compressors plus all manner of muscle-powered machines. We've seen an amazing array of dragsters, propelled by all manner of eco-energy. Some teams missed out by a matter of seconds, others by a little more. But now only eight teams remain. They are Winch Perfect, The Extinguishers, The Three Fallers, The Awesome Threesome, The Marchwood Marauders, the Beach Bums, the Flywheelers, and finally, the Lornatics. But only one of these teams will reach the final and take on the Scrap Heap All-Stars, who yesterday were set the massive challenge of building a juice-free dragster in 10 hours. Can we grab one of the oxygen bottles off the oxy acetylene and strap them on there? With the, with the nozzle out your... Oh, and just knock my neck off. <laughs> <laughs> Sledge it off? <laughs> well, we could strap that on and get that done. We should be in pub drinking cider if we did our time, wouldn't And you'll be, drink, you'll be driving it, will you? Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Be right, you'll it? be the only one who want to get on it. That's a rubbish idea, mate. <laughs> what about having a girt flywheel? And spinning Flywheel will work. Use a kinetic wheel. Is that the posh word for it, then, is it? Well, it's kinetic energy is stored in a flywheel, yeah. And how are we going to get the drive from that to... Bicycle. Bicycles. Bicycle. Power up a flywheel. Now he's going to take some pedalling up, mind. Oh, your legs, we, mate. We could be there a long time. We could be, could us, yeah. The All Stars design is based around three bicycles. Two of the bikes will be used conventionally to get the machine moving. The third bike will be used to power a heavy flywheel, the most basic of energy storage devices. Once it's up to speed, they can release all of the flywheel's energy in one hit 
and shoot off down the track. Uh, provided they have enough puff to spin it up. <sighs> Are we all happy with that for a start? Well, good start, isn't it? Yeah. I still like the idea of this oxycetylene bottle. Come on. <laughs> the pressure is on the All-Stars to break their roadshow duck. We'll be coming back later to see how they get on. Back at the Science Museum, the All-Stars will be facing stiff competition from the cream of the dragsters dreamt up by the great British bodging public. Our first quarter-final will see the extinguishers take on the awesome threesome. Row, row, row your boat gently down the drag strip. Well, that's the plan for Dominic, Simon and Matthew, the awesome threesome. Well, it's kind of based on what we do in the, you know, on the water rowing wise. Basing their design around a rowing machine is a massive technical challenge. Just as I say, we just wait to see what breaks. Speed shouldn't be a problem, though. We're applying both legs all at the same time. It's a six, six leg drives. So it's six leg once. drives at once. It'll either go brilliantly quickly or a spectacular disaster. Let's hope their row bike won't be like a duck out of water. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, Matt. <laughs> Did you think you'd get this far? Uh, last night, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> That's very we honest of you. Last night. <laughs> really, so it's your kind of first test was this morning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look, you've done really well to get this far. Very best luck. Let's hope we see you in the next round. Well Thank done. You. Thank yeah. you. But to get to the next round, the awesome threesome will need to get past Scrap Heap's favourite fireman. From the firefighting capital of Norfolk, we give you Simon, Peter, and Bob, the extinguishers, who skated all the way to the semi-finals of last year's Scrap Heap challenge. Earlier on, you had an idea of. The old style pumping handles that move up and down. So what we could do is if we had a handle, pivot point there, okay, yeah. and we'll make a crank. So we'll have some sort of con rod that goes down, turns what would normally be the bike wheels. The chaps don't seem to have lost any of their old ingenuity with their hand-pumped quadricycle. I'll try steering like that, that'd be easy. But they haven't quite grasped the reality of a roadshow build. This is a bit where the expert comes in anyway, isn't it? Yeah. It tells us how to actually build yeah. it. As you can see, we've put barrels out, thereby making the lanes narrower. Do you think that's going to be a problem for you? No problem. Best steering machine here. You reckon? Yep, undoubtedly. I'm loving the confidence. So what do you reckon, Trevor? Who's your favourite on this one? I think, yes, Fireman. Yeah, yeah. the extinguishers. I think you might be right, yeah. The crowd are on the edge of their seats and expecting a really close race in this battle between arm and leg power. Awesome treatment, extinguishers, prepare to burn rubber on the green light. And they're off! They're neck and neck off the start line. But the fireman's pump power is no match for the rowers and the awesome threesome are pulling away. At least the extinguishers are keeping the fevered crowd nice and cool. What a brilliant machine. That was fast. That's the fastest we've seen so well, far. I, 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 All our predictions are wrong. So it's victory for the awesome threesome's beautifully designed row bike. They're certainly going to be a tough team to beat. Next up in the second quarter final of this crackpot competition are the three fallers and the lunatics. And you certainly don't get any crazier than this compressed air go-kart from Cheshire. It's the brainchild of Colin, Paul and Dan, the Lornatics. So named because whilst most people drive cars or motorbikes, this team's preferred mode of transport is a lawnmower. Racing around a field of all the knees is far more fun. You know, riding a motorbike is ridiculous, but these are just completely insane. <laughs> Though not as insane as their harebrained idea for a compressed air dragster. Um, we've got uh, obviously a push bike, um, and this is a two-piston uh, compressor. So you've got uh, air in and air out on here. This whole compressor is going to charge the red air tank on the floor, and the red air tank's going to drive a larger engine. Fingers crossed. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, here's, here's going to work. Colin, you're going to be riding it. I'm pilot again, yeah. Good stuff. 
The man who's brave slash stupid enough to going, what's that, three inches off the ground with his feet on a compressed air tank. Yeah. <laughs> Rather you than me, mate, but very best of luck. I'll see you on the other side. See you later. Yeah. Thank you. The Lornatix opponents aren't used to being that close to the ground. They have much loftier ambitions. Paul, Andy and Andrew are the three fallers. They work at the world's largest skydiving facility in Bedford. They plan to get the drop on the opposition in this high-spec dragster powered by a highly elastic bungee. We uh, uh, expand these bungee cords the length of the car, uh, creating a couple of tons worth of force, and the power is then converted through a gear ratio to the wheels. Time for a test run and some rather worrying news for the opposition. When we get more confident and we ramp it up, we're hoping anywhere around 40 miles an hour. 40 miles an hour? Oh, let's see it in action. Yeah, I think more bungees. I'm not a gambling girl, but I've got to say, if I was, the money might be on you. But, you know, it's scrappy, anything can happen. Enjoy it. Very best of luck. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the other side. Thank you. Well, Cheers. Three fallers, lunatics, I want you to start when that light turns green. Three fallers fly off the blocks and swoop into the lead. And the Lornatics, well, they look a little bit short of puff as they're mown down by the opposition. They haven't quite got there yet. Uh, nearly, nearly, uh, uh, nearly, uh, yes! Uh, they did it. With all these precision machines on display, it's easy to forget that our All-Stars had just 10 hours to design and build their contraption. Back at the heap, the Scrap Heap's finest have clearly lost none of their sparkle, which is just as well. Their flywheel pedal-powered hybrid is going to take some scavenging. First on the list is a multitude of bike parts, though none of this lot will be fit for the Tour de France. <laughs> Here we've packed it! We can go home now. Who's on a bike? It's got brakes, Barnes. No, no brakes! <laughs> <laughs> well, we did have brakes somehow, didn't we? Yeah, I think it was your foot, mate. <laughs> right, oh, carry on Can't going for a Let's see what else I can find. Of course, pedals and chains are only half of the jigsaw. Me old son. Andy's just found the proper job. He's found exactly what we want. How do you know it's exactly what we want? Yeah, 100% sure it is a hell of a job, this. This is a proper agricultural job, this is. For those of you who don't speak country, Andy has found a flywheel. He got a girt rim on him, and he's, well, he's exactly what he wants. I know this. I, I fill it in me water. And Hadrian is very pleased. Tidy. Just as a battery stores electrical current, a flywheel does the same job mechanically. It's basically a very heavy metal disc, which takes a huge amount of force to spin, but once it's spinning, oh. it's very hard to stop due to its weight. In the case of the All-Stars, they'll be able to pedal their flywheel up to speed prior to the start of the race. Once the race is underway, and the two All-Stars pedalling the traditional bikes begin to tire, they'll be able to transfer all the energy from the flywheel to their axle, giving them a turbo boost. Whee! Well, if we start messing about with it, we could break that. So we just mm. will left it alone, innit? us? Because we can make enough cock-ups without looking for any more. Without breaking us. something. Yeah. Back at the Science Museum, the crowds are eagerly anticipating the third quarter final. All right, guys. So what do you think of it so far? Um, very exciting. Is it? Now, which one has been your favourite machine? The lawnmower one. The one where he's lying on his front? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't do so well in that last no. round, though, did it? No. And, and, Dad, which has been your favourite machine? I think the uh, one with the parachute. <laughs> on the bungees, that was the best one. Yeah, it's certainly looking like the fastest so far. Do you reckon there's anybody else that's going to be able to beat them? I don't think so. Probably no, not. It's a, definitely the quickest on there. Our next two quarter finalists might beg to differ. First up are a team who are no strangers to the heat of battle. 
Dan, Richie and Andy are the Marchwood Marauders. These Southampton-based army mechanics take no prisoners. We'll win. I think we'll win, yeah. yeah. It, on paper, it, it's a good car. But as you'd expect from the military, access to that blueprint is on a strictly need-to-know basis. Yeah, top secret. Top secret. We'll uh, keep that on to ourselves. But under interrogation, they crack. Sort of like how a mousetrap works. Um, pull the... As, as you tension a mousetrap, the sort of the spring will tighten onto itself. Sounds dangerous, so who will be earning the Victoria Cross and driving their mousetrap mobile? I'm the lightest, so I'm driving, and I'm probably I'm stupid as well. Not stupid, Richie, brave. At ease, marauders. Now, what do you reckon to your position? You've had a little look see over there. I think they're a bit slower than us. Do you? Yeah. So you're confident in going through to the next round? You reckon, yeah. boys, yeah? Yeah, that's why I like. Right. A bit of confidence. Well, look, very best of luck. Hopefully, see you on the other side. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Aiming to break the steely calm of the soldiers are a team of brave hearts from Scotland. Winch Perfect are Gordon, Brian and Darren, and they have a passion that may not be everyone's cup of tea. Winches. 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 OK, we get the picture. It's surprising how many different applications there are for winches. Well, it seems one application is a juice-free dragster. Five wheel is actually off the, the winches. It's got quite a bit of weight in it, so I'll get the momentum to spin it and keep it going after the injection system. And to get off the line, Brian can expect one hell of a kickstart. And no, we're not winding you up. Ooh, rather you than me, Brian. Now, those guys over there reckoned that they were going to be faster than you. I'm not so sure. What do you reckon to that? Well, we'll just wait to see at the finish line who's there first. Yeah, you'll, you'll let your machine do the talking, That's none it. of all that. Can the Scots make the army boys eat their words? OK, teams, it's round two. It's all to play for. Go on the green light. They're off, and the Marauders' mousetrap has launched them into the lead. Good stuff. Yeah, oh, oh. Yeah, he's oh. not quite got it. No, 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 no. Winch perfect are looking anything but. That kickstart was more of a gentle shove. It's a resounding victory for the Marchwood Marauders. And if that got the crowd excited, the decibels are about to go through the roof. The All-Stars are here. And their adoring public don't seem to have noticed a line-up change. All-Stars! 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 Good morning, All-Stars. Good to see you. Now, uh, there's three of you, but not the same three. No. What's happened? Due to unforeseen circumstances, H couldn't make it today. So um, we asked for a nice, athletic, got... live person to help uh, us with the they weight distribution. They couldn't find anybody. We got Bowser. That's it. We need ballast. And this engineering heavyweight is just the man for the job. Well, I think that looks pretty good myself. Bowser is practically scrap heap royalty, having been a fixture on the heap since the very first series. The first of this year's scrap heap roadshows has seen 16 teams compete in their juice-free drag races. With one heat of the quarterfinals remaining, the teams already through to the semis are the Marchwood Marauders, the Awesome Threesome, and the Three Fallers. In the last of our quarterfinals, we have a very interesting matchup. The flywheelers take on the bizarre cross-dressing beach bums. Now, I have to ask, what do you think of the interesting beach bums who are dressed as characters from Baywatch? Yes, different. Lovely. Lovely shade of pink up there. Yeah, were, were you impressed by them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good boy. <laughs> when they weren't dressing up as ladies, the lads were making waves on their way to the final of last year's Scrappy. Do the bit it, dip, dip. 
These Torquay-based surf dudes are the beach bums. Andy, Simon and Gilly might have been on the scrap heap before, but you wouldn't know it from their brainstorming session. That, that is beautiful. Are you happy? Right, there's our surfboard, yeah. right? Yeah. We're going to have a big bike wheel there, yeah? yeah. Okay, join to the thingy like that. Yeah. Right. You can't have three pedalling, mate. I am going to have yeah, three, three pedals. We're going to have a little fan on the back. He yeah. is very familiar with wind, don't <laughs> you? are familiar with wind. Remember the aeroplanes? You used to go like that. Yeah. You used to go, zhoo, hit in the head. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. We're having that. Hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't say you couldn't have a hamster wheel. No, I think we'll be able to gerbil. We might have a gerbil in there. Now, you've had a look at your opponents. What do you think they're going to be thinking of you? They are worried sick that we're going to chase them around this airfield. If we lose, we are. I'm having the blonde one. <laughs> yeah. See, JBJ, no way. A very, very best luck for this round. Oh, thank you, Lizzie. You've been the best lady. best lady win. <laughs> so who'll be trying to keep one step ahead of this bevy of beauties? Flying? Well, cycling in from Shropshire, our scrap heaps answer to the Wright brothers. Air cadets, the flywheelers. These budding pilots stuck to what they know. We base everything on the plane, really. Pull it backwards, it turns right. We had the flywheel, but found that was too much of a weight. Didn't really help us accelerate off the star line. So we now have a team called the flywheelers because they don't have one. Whether we're going to win it, I don't know, but uh, we're there for the fun anyway. So. It's all about fun. Job done. Time for a test run. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's the air training core on a bicycle. Chocks away! Now, you've seen the lovely ladies you're up against. <laughs> yeah. You've got to rate your chances. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fair. Do you think you'd get a little bit of grief if you if you lost to the, uh, the old beach bum ladies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, well, for your sakes, I hope you win. Good luck, guys. Thank, okay, thank you. Well, this next round, Trevor, is definitely muscle-based, isn't it? But it's sort of a power-weight ratio yeah. arrangement, isn't it? Because yeah. this one is very light and he's very tough. Yeah. You've got a bit of drag there, as it were. Well, let's not use the word drag no, in not, an not incorrect No, not with the beach bums. No. No. <laughs> 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 Lovely pair of legs that one's oh, got there. stunning. <laughs> <laughs> the tension mounts, with the last semi-final place up for grabs. OK, teams. It's time to pump those powerful thighs. Go on the green light. Oh, they're off. They're neck and neck, and both teams are pedalling furiously. Speed of it, my word. But it looks like four legs are better than two. God, you forgot your makeup bag. The flywheelers escape the clutches of the beach bums. Bad luck, ladies. That was your fault. That was your fault. We're down to our last four teams in our knockout competition to find out who will be up against the Scrap Heap All-Stars. Now, these guys had just ten hours to build their vehicle. Here's how they got on. Here we cracked it! We can go After over. a shaky oh, start... It's got brakes, Barnes! No, no brakes! <laughs> <laughs> the All-Stars have scavenged most of the key components for their juice-free dragster. Now comes the hard part. That's our basic layout that we've got to achieve. Yeah. Well, we've got to try and work out where we actually need everything, haven't we? Their speed machine is going to be pedal-powered with a flywheel turbocharger. But mounting the antique flywheel isn't as simple as they'd hoped. Yeah, it's going to be a big bearing to go around there, isn't it? What a nuisance. Oh, darn. Modern industrial parts don't seem to match it too well. It might be time for a more old-fashioned solution. Wood. Bit of hardwood. There's a staircase over there. It's got some chunky wood on it. It's not, it's not going to be hardwood, but... A staircase? Yeah. It's got some chunky wood on it. I think that's the only option now. Yeah. So... All Barnsley needs to do is drill a hole in a piece of wood. Simple. Well, it's a bit slack. Did you actually read the size on the old saw? We did. You did? What did it say? 38. Well, Dougal said it's a 38. Oh, yes, it's 38. Dougal said it was a 38. 44, you wally. <laughs> <laughs> do I cut another tree off, down? Off you go, cut another tree down <laughs> and get it right. <laughs> Oh, this hope's splitting. <laughs> this is third time, I'll have you say. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be a fourth. 
I think I've uh, murdered a small rainforest trying to do this job. Hear that? You hear that, Andy? That's Barnes's wallet. <laughs> <laughs> With Barnes's carpentry marathon complete, Rapper. the All Stars dragster is starting to take shape. On there. We're going to be about like that. If we go yeah. set a bit further forward. Yeah, so you're all right with that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's all coming on, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> so, something's happening. Yeah, you're done. How much more have you got to get? Is there still quite a few bits? Chain. To oh, the, chain to, for that. For that and sprocket. Oh, that's it? And a gearbox. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> How's the other team doing, anyway? They're, they're nearly finished. Are they? <laughs> <laughs> they've, in fact, they've all gone home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's it's not one of the most glamorous looking machines yet, but I know it's going to be. It's got potential. It's got potential. I reckon it would move very well without the flywheel. Right. Because, you know, it's hardly yeah, any weight. Yeah, three of you pedaling yeah. it, yeah. So the flywheel's just got to give it a bit more room. It's got to. Yeah. What are you tomorrow, are we? <laughs> <laughs>show it's semi-final time and we've upped the ante and added a chicane as the remaining four teams tinker with their human powered speedsters the all-stars are checking out the opposition see you in the final yeah hopefully <laughs> going head to head in the first semi-final are the awesome threesome in their row bike against army engineers the marchwood marauders mousetrap motor have you got a favorite for this do you think mm. I think the oarsman. The awesome think, threesome. I think so. That machine is beautifully made, isn't it? I mean, that's really oh, clever. When you, when you examine it, you see the number of gears. Yeah, and, and the, the chains and yeah. oh, They've done a tremendous yeah, job on it. Incredible job. Marchwood Marauders, awesome threesome, go on the green light. And they're off. Wow. Oh, that whoa, that whoa, initial speed is amazing. Look at that! Go, it's an amazing start for the Marauders. The Oarsmen have it all to do. He's going, oh, they there can't catch no him. Comparison. Can they catch him? Go on, go on. They're gaining, but it's not enough. We got it wrong again, we got it wrong again. Oh. We've done it again. <laughs> Why did you do it like this? So embarrassing. Oh, God. Now, I... You might have been seeing things wrong, but it seemed to me that you'd lost power. Yes. We did. We had, we had a chain come off, and that, that was it. That sunk our ship, really. Are you very sad? Well, a bit, but we've had a great day's racing. We've had a couple of good races, and uh, the, the atmosphere here is excellent, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, and no shame going out in the semi-final. You've no, done well. Not at all. Awesome threesome. Thank you so much. You've been fab. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> our second semi-final features a very lofty lineup. Skydivers, the Three Fallers, are up against Air Cadets, the Flywheelers, in a battle of bungee versus bike. No, careful what you say. No, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to predict anything, because, uh, you know, I don't want to... Every time we've, we've guessed which team's going to win, we've, we've blown it for them. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, right? Cut my throat if I'm yeah. wrong. This one here... You reckon no, the Three Fallers have got it? I think they've got a very good chance. Yeah. I think you're probably right. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful machine. Yeah. Three fallers, flywheelers, when that light goes green, it only means one thing. Let's do it. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh my look at God, acceleration. that acceleration. Wow. Oh, and they've broken a chain. They've broken a chain. Oh. What a shame. What a shame. I've got a feeling he might win the championship. I think they've got a I've got a little chance. feeling we might have got it right this time. Perhaps, perhaps. That broken chain for the flywheelers makes our second semi a procession for the three fallers who will face the Marchwood Marauders for the right to take on the Scrappy Ball Stars. Oh, good afternoon, All Stars. Good afternoon. Look, look at you. You look all look very, very resplendently smart. Thank you. Wonderful. And now, confident. And confident. You're effort. still confident because you've, now you've got, had the chance to see the, 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 the opposition. There's some pretty impressive machines. Yeah, really good, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Some worryingly good machines, yeah. 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 Couldn't be ever so close, but we've got a fear. We, 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 we sort of think we've got weight worried. behind us. Well, you've definitely got weight. I mean, because, uh, you know, having seen your machine come together, it's probably the heaviest here by quite a large degree. Yeah, well, yeah. I think we can take out most of the opposition in one swipe. Well, you, if you hit them, yeah. they're finished. <laughs> <That's it. Yeah. laughs>
<laughs> You'll just feel a small bump as you go over them. <laughs> no, tactic. Well, you all seem really confident now, but let's see how cool you were when the clock was ticking on Bill Day. Oh. Um, all stars, I know you're busy, but I just thought I'd tell you, you have three hours remaining. Three hours. Well, that ain't too bad. There's only a ticket together now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Be all right? Hadrian is right to be anxious about the build. The All Stars really need to step up a gear. And gearing is where the real problem is. Their dragster will be weighty, so they must get those ratios right. They also need to find a way of controlling the power of the spinning flywheel. And Big Andy may have found the solution. What have we got? Oh, what do we think? Gearbox. Oh, tidy. Gearbox. Happy? Light? Yeah. <sighs> Nah, it's a very heavy. <laughs> On a motor car, the clutch is the link between the spinning engine and the gearbox. When you release the clutch, it steadily engages the power of the engine, moving the car off. The All Stars design will work in the same way. With the clutch off, they can spin the flywheel up to high speeds. When they release the clutch, the power of the flywheel will be transferred into the drive wheels speeding them down the track. Whee! Turning through 90 and? Yeah. Loads That's of room. It. Loads of room. That's 180. There. That's it. Up against there somewhere. Oh, it's all right. Oh, it's come easy off there, lovely. It? Yeah. So, Rob, how are those three crazy reprobates? I mean, Scrappy Paul stars getting on. They're all... <laughs> I, think, well, they're, I think they're all kind of bearing up. It's like they're all doing a prison sentence. They know it's got to be done. They've got to get through it, you know, and they're doing, and they're kind of putting their best foot forward because there's no engines, and you can see it's really, it's really wearing on them. I mean, that is worrying that they're going to be moving this entire heavy structure, yeah, just from pedal power. Yeah, I think what we've got to convince them of is that the flywheel is like the equivalent of a of a nitrous kit on a V8. See, if, if we can talk them into believing that, that's their kind of supercharger. Yeah, they'll press the button and. <laughs> yeah. It's not quite a nitro kit, but the flywheel has put a smile on Barnes's face. Nass with no grace. And with the gearbox attached, they'll be able to transfer all that power to the wheels. Hopefully, that's 27 mil now. If it is, I'm really good. Of course, to get off the line, they'll be relying on pedal power. But unfortunately, Big Andy has based the seating positions on his own giant frame. They have proper welded up, mine. <laughs> now go can't. hell! I can't reach the pedals, man! We're just one race away from finding out which team will take on the Scrappy All-Stars. And whilst the Three Fallers and the Marchwood Marauders get ready to race, the All-Stars are taking an opportunity to bribe a bit of support from the crowd. They'll need every last bit of backing both our finalists have top draw dragsters. The Marauder's Machine enjoys a quick getaway courtesy of a mousetrap inspired spring which spins their wheels up to a furious speed. After their turbo start, they can rely on a bit of pedal power to get them across the line. The Three Fallers design relies on the stored energy of bungee cord stretched along the length of their vehicle. It gives them great acceleration, but after a short burst, the energy is spent. So we might have a bit of bad news for them. Oh, dear. So, Trevor, now we've ex just extended the course by 20 metres. Yeah. And that is, I think, is going to affect things. The Marauders have got pedal power yeah. to keep them going, haven't they? I mean, they've got that amazing ex initial acceleration, but they can keep going, whereas the three fallers have got that phenomenal initial burst of energy, but then that's it. They yes, but they've still got their momentum. For me, and this is where I'll get it wrong again, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think this... Uh, you think the three fallers have got it? I, th I think so. So, who'll win this battle between Sky High Tech and military muscle? Three fallers, marauders, you know the drill. When that light is green, you've got to let them go. It's close though, it's close. Oh, oh look at that speed. Oh, look! The three fallers have got their noses in front, but have they got enough twang to last the course? Well, oh, look at him pedaling, he's pedaling like right mad. Three fallers.
Everyone's got it. Yeah. Despite the Marauders' best efforts, it's the three fallers who are through to the day's finale. Can they overcome the All-Stars? Yesterday, the All-Stars were given just 10 hours to build a dragster to compete in the road show. Their speed machine is going to be pedal-powered with a flywheel turbocharger. How many teeth on that little one there, Andy? Um, All-Stars, oh. uh, let's hope you've stored up some energy for the final push. You have one hour remaining. One hour? One hour, Andy, all right? One hour. Good, glad you can hear. <laughs> one hour, boys. How are they getting on now? I mean, most of it seems to be on there. I mean, the flywheel's on, the gearbox is on, the all that stuff. Looks Absolutely. amazing. I mean, they've done it really well. Yeah, it is beautifully made. Tidy, isn't yeah, it? yeah, really good. And it is just a case of connecting it up. So it's got to come off a of year, put the sprocket on there somewhere, yeah. back onto this one year. And then it's just a drive for the uh, bicycle, which I suppose, really, we need to get in here somewhere, don't we? Well, there's we... loads and loads of not room. It's one of those ones where you say, Almost there. What have we got left to do? Oh, yeah, we're nearly there. All we've got to do is, um, well, we've got to connect all the chain drives to that. We've got to connect the drive to the flywheel. We've got to put in some steering. We've got to maybe do some brakes. Don't even bother with the brakes. Uh, we've got to do, you know, and then there's a massive list. list. You actually have two chains, in fact. Yeah. One, one that one and one going down there. So we can use the whole forks of the bike. Yeah. Yeah. Use the whole thing. All we need to do is drop another gear is down drop onto another there. gear in the middle of the lot. That's a yeah. brilliant idea. Yeah. I mean, it makes it more apparent, doesn't it, the 10 hours now, because all the other teams they're competing against have as much time as they can muster. I mean, no matter which way you look at it, it is very hard to expect the All-Stars to do something to compete with that in 10, yeah. 10 hours. I'd love it if they would. I'd yeah. love it if they could actually manage to pull out the bag, particularly as they've built a machine which is so far outside their field of expertise. Yeah, yeah. Sort of... well, we'll see tomorrow. Mm. I've got loads of energy, mate. I'm bouncing. Look at me. <laughs> All stars, this is it. It's the moment of truth. Unveil it. Hello! It's finished. It's done. It's a bit heavy, you know. <laughs> it does look a bit heavy, if I'm absolutely <laughs> honest. It doesn't look lightweight and compact. And you are racing against one of the best-looking Rocho machines we've seen. Yeah, I know. It is, Never however, mind. a thing of beauty and a joy forever. It is a thing of beauty, it's joy forever, and you had ten hours to build out of scrap, and for that we are grateful. Guys, do your very best. <laughs> <laughs> A passionate crowd are getting behind their heroes and the All-Stars are going to need all the support they can get as they'll be up against the outstanding Three Fallers. Three Fallers, this is your big challenge. This is what you fought all day to achieve. The chance to go against the All-Stars. All-Stars, get that flywheel spinning till it hums and go on the green light. They're off, and it's a decent start for the All-Stars. But the three fallers are pulling away. Maybe that flywheel will give the All-Stars a turbo boost. Or maybe not. I don't know that that can fairly be called a race. Hardly. <laughs> <laughs> it certainly was a stroll for the ultra modern three fallers, who'll be crowned roadshow champions if they win the next race. Whilst the all stars need to squeeze some extra oomph out of their agricultural dinosaur. When was that one made? About 1926. <laughs> <laughs> it, it predates the steam age. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yeah. But once it gets going. Yeah, once it gets going. But it going. just needs a lot of getting going. <laughs> It's do or die time for the All-Stars. Remember, it's the best of three, so they must win this race to stay in the competition. What can the heap's finest possibly do to save their reputation? All-Stars, three fallers, this is it. I go, no wait, now they've gone. They've resorted to cheating. In 
Instant disqualification adds insult to injury as the All-Stars sink to a new all-time low. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and despite the illegal head start, the three fallers still beat them. Oh, the shame of it all. No, a score mark, so hey, what fun. <laughs> Well, teams, if there's one thing we've proved today, it's that making dragsters without engines is very difficult. But the winners today of this fantastic road chart are, without any question, without any hesitation, the fantastic three fallers. And you deserve three bottles and a trophy. <laughs> Don't forget to join us again next time when we're going to a medieval fair for an archery contest of gigantic proportions. We'll see you then. There'll be medieval mayhem aplenty as the road shows bravest archers twang their bows and launch their impressively large arrows at a series of fiendishly tough targets. The prize? Another chance to take on the scrappy ball stars.